Hi, I'm Brandi Fowler with ID8 TV. Tonight we're at the opening night of A Widow of No Importance. And I have the beautiful Anjali, who is sipping wine, because, you know, we're celebrating tonight. So, tell me a little bit about your character. Um, my character, uh, Lalita, is, I fondly refer to her as one of the real housewives of Mumbai. <laughs> because she is this flamboyant, big colorful, loud, crazy woman but who also lives a very traditional life in terms of she's the matchmaker in the community, she believes in arranged marriage, she's the one trying to hook everybody up. So um, I have such a great time with her because she's, she's an auntie that I think every Indian person has met but we've never seen on stage. And, um, and, and I don't know if we've ever seen her on TV or film to be honest, I've, I've never. Um, so, um, so yeah, she's a hoot. I love her. I wish she was my auntie. I wish I could hang out with her and play cards and drink. Very nice. So you've mentioned arranged marriage. Is yes. that something that you believe in? This is, I have a very strong opinion about it. I believe that people who are raised to believe in arranged marriages, it can work. Mm -hmm. But if you're not raised from the get-go to believe in that institution, it's very difficult to impose it later on. You know, those of us who are brought up in what we call love marriages, it's it's a it's a whole different thought, you know. It's a whole different institution. But if one thing I do think is is really good about arranged marriages is that for a lot of people, um, it eliminates sort of the fantasy. It's always going to be wine and roses. Although tonight it is wine and roses. It's always going to be fireworks. You know that that you know there are going to be times when you need to work to keep the love going. And I do I do believe in that. However, I firmly I mean I'm straight up hopeless romantic. My parents were a love marriage, they're still together. Like I'm I wasn't I wasn't built for arranged marriage. But frankly the all the arranged marriages I know of and all the people I know in person who've been arranged together, it's worked. It isn't like arranged marriages are you, your parents decide and you never see the person. You know, it's sort of like your parents are your match.com. Okay. So in today's day and age like that that makes sense. It takes to me. a little pressure off. I, I, you know, I think so. I mean, I wouldn't know. I mean, my mom tried to start picking guys for me really early, and I was like, yeah, mom, I got this. Thanks, but thanks, but, you know, I got this. Who you want to marry might be different than who I want to marry, so I'm good. I'm good.